Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Spire the Dragon for Sony PlayStation 1. In the last video, we completed Dark Hollow and Town Square. And now it is time to take on the boss of the Artisan Homeworld. And we need to go over here in order to do that. Because we've rescued ten dragons, or I believe we've collected, we've rescued enough dragons. This dragon head statue will open up, and we will be able to confront Toasty. We've got 100 gems to collect, and there is only one dragon to rescue here. Plus, we're gonna have our first boss, and you want to be careful getting those gems so you don't fall in. Now, the sheep dogs. They're pretty hard unless you know a certain trick. All you have to do to, to fight them, flame them once, move to the side, flame them as you turn back around. Flame, sidestep, turn around, flame again. Yes, they take two hits to kill. And yes, I want to take care of this guy from a distance. The shepherds and the sheepdogs are the only real threats you're really going to be dealing with around here. Also, I want to take a good look around, and it's a good thing I did because I would have missed these if I didn't. So let's go get them. Alright. Let us go back. Blame another dog. Get rid of this guy. And... You don't even need to jump to the side. You can just run to the side. Just hold. Or just travel just to the side after hitting that sheepdog. Really? Well, at least there should be some sort of... I don't think there's actually any fodder here now that I think about it. So you really got to be careful here. And yeah, these things, they just flop at you as soon as you hit them. And end of the line for this particular part, but as long as I am careful while pressing the square button, I should be able to open those no problem. All right. We need to go over in this direction. Because that's where we'll face some more enemies. And rescue this stage's lone dragon. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. And those tricks usually involve letting the enemies do the work and just standing there unless you get too close, in which case you do get hit. So, Toasty, just... It's a sheep in a costume. That's all it is. You move away long enough. I think you move away long enough, you'll see it. Yeah, it's a sheep in a costume. Just flame it from a distance. Just flame Toasty from a distance. Toasty will run away. Then you'll have to fight two dogs. And then you flame again. Now, Toasty has lost the weapon and the disguise. And all Toasty can do is just walk away. Or try to walk away. To no avail. And just like that, we've beaten Toasty, and we're done. Let's leave. And that took less time than Dark Hollow did. I've only been recording for... Four and a half minutes, less than that. I was recording for less than that by the time I got out. So we're done now. There's nothing left to do in the Artisan's Homeworld. Which means, one, I get to jump the enemies that are here, just for the sake of being able to do it. 
And I can go to the Balloonist and go to the Peacekeeper's World, which is the next world in this game. So let's beat up some enemies. And we should be on our way with the orbs that we collect that will get us closer to an extra life. So this game, pretty enjoyable so far. Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, would extend and expand upon what this game did. But this game, this first game, very solid foundation. I do like what I see here, and it would have been interesting enough had it just been its own game, but thankfully this game was successful enough to spawn sequels. Speaking of getting around and doing things, we need to go over here so we can talk to the balloonist. Well done, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. Oh, ye of little faith. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Well, there's no use in staying here, so go to Peacekeeper's. And it's kind of cool that the balloonist is cool with us jumping on his head in order to get on the balloon. And when you go from one world to another in this way, you actually do see a background transition. It's not like where you enter the portal. You get a fade in and fade out. And by going over here, we can rescue our first dragon of the Peacekeeper's world. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Am I continuing on? We'll meet a soldier with the beret. This guy just waddles around and just tries to run away from you. Or maybe he actually attacks you. Well, I never let him. Just don't let him near you. Or get too close or stay near you for any amount of time. And just flame him, you should be okay. After the guys in the blue hats, they just man the cannons. But that's pretty dumb because that doesn't let us that doesn't let him attack us at all. And I might as well use his cannon to get rid of these guys. Hey, where'd the other guy go? <gasps> ah! That was fun. So the cannons, you walk up to it, to the to, walked up to the, to the side of it. That was weird. And apparently the camera will center itself in a way that will let you be able to see where you're aiming this, which is actually kind of cool because I can do things here. Well, he saw his buddies get killed, so he just dove into a tent. Thanks for cowering. See you never. That was also fun. And there is the portal for Clifftown. I'll be going there eventually. But if you approach these guys the old-fashioned way, they will dive into their, tent into their tents. And they also try to moon you, apparently. To absolutely no advantage or reason or strategy whatsoever. I feel sorry for them. There's another balloonist, and you can talk to him and find out that the Magic Crafter's world is far away and very dangerous. That is the third world of the game and the one we go to after this one. Maybe you find 1,200 stolen treasure. I'll show it to you. We're going to stay here because we don't have it. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. Press select and you'll immediately go to the inventory for your current place. We have 200 gems and three dragons for the Peacekeeper's homeworld. And we uh, are almost two-thirds of the way towards 1,200. And why are you manning the cannons? It's not doing you any good. Where did you go? Did you go over here? Yes, you did. And fun fact, while you can probably unlock those two boxes with the key, you will find it eventually because you'll need it for at least one of these things. There are three in all. 
You can use the cannon to blow up two of them. All you have to do is just point the can, point the can, point the cannon at it. I can't even say cannon. Good grief. Just point the cannon towards it, and the game does the rest as soon as you flame the cannon to fire the cannonball. I forgot to mention that you can use the flame to fire the cannonball. Please use the flame to fire the cannonball. And we've got some jump chests here. I forgot to free that dragon, but I can go back to it. Can't believe I managed to do that. And, ooh, I forgot to get these. Let's go ahead and get these. There's the road to the ice cavern. I'll have to remember that later. Let's go ahead and free this other dragon. Hi, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Thank you, Magnus. Otherwise known as National Treasure Nick Aldis. Alright. Okay, I can't jump onto that. Thought I could there for a second. And that rock with the target on it, aim the cannon. If I can get to it, if I can get to the side of it. There we go. Move it until you've got it aimed. Flame the cannon. You'll get that to happen. And I'd rather do it from here. Dr. Shemp is the boss for this area. We'll be meeting Dr. Shemp a little later, and whoa. Um, you want to be very careful with these platforms, because if you fall down into that pit, there's no coming back. You're losing a life. Night Flight. That is one of the flying levels for this area. And I will explain how to play it when the time comes. For now, let's get over here. And let's also look around a little bit. And there is our last dragon. I want to free him first. And there's the key and a thief, too. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some... Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. I thought our destiny was just the star in a... Um... One, what's, what's that genre called? Toys to Life. That's it. I thought her destiny was to be part of a Toys to Life game. Not that I have anything against Skylanders. I've never tried it. I'm not going to knock it. Anyway. Let us... Did I? Or have I not? Isn't there a, um... Okay, I guess you just have to press start. I could have sworn there was a way to just get everything to show up offhand, but I guess there isn't. Anyway, we have some jump chests. And a key, ho and a key chest. Might as well go ahead and open those. I think I may have missed a few, but I think I know where they are. It's, it's more than likely going to be where I blew those chests open with a cannonball. Well, that was a mistake. Might as well go ahead and go take out one of the jackalopes. Or maybe they're just rabbits. Well, we need to take them out so that way we can... Ah, right. Right. This area. The road leading to Dry Canyon. That's what I missed. Which means I did get the stuff in the other other uh, keyhole chests. But we are now 203. Indeed we are. And we have another egg from beating up that... That thief in record time. And we are now three-fourths of the way to the treasure goal for the next world. But I do want to tackle everything that is here. Um... What do I want to do? Well, since I played it before, I'll go ahead and do Dry Canyon. 
I might as well. This is another thing that... I mean, I played this in the past for Try It Out Tuesday. This is the last thing I played for it. But I haven't practiced it for this particular video. And there's a yellow gem. Cool. Anything back here? Nah. Okay. And we got these guys with the guns. If they've got their gun aimed at you, you can charge them. Or flame them. Otherwise, charge them if they got the shield up. And let's see here. Oh, hey. Yeah, just wait for them to open themselves up and they will do it. Also, you can flame the cacti. But they just recover. And I also want to look back here. And thankfully, you can see the shots. Wow. Well, thankfully, there's some fodder near the start. It's the same as the one in the uh, Peacekeeper's homeworld. Might as well ram into these. And you can hear the thief up there. We'll get to him. No, he's right here. That didn't take long. Just caught up and flamed him early, and I was somehow managed to get to him. And I think we can jump to this guy, and yes, we can. Thank you for releasing me. I mean, you could replay that dragon, but why would you want to? Not like you're going to get a gameplay hit there. But anyway, ooh, another new enemy, the vultures. Flame them when they dive at you. They will dive at you if you get close enough. And this guy hits you with a vulture. Just flame them from a distance. I don't think you can charge them. I usually don't charge them anyway. And let me see real quick. I don't think this is it. Yeah, this ain't it. Or maybe it is. Well, we can go up here. I guess. Nice try. Um, What does this lead to? Besides the self-healing cacti. Well, we got this room. Now, we'll be taking... Well, how do I put this? I'm pretty sure that all these all these paths are linked to one another somehow. So we'll eventually end up where we need to be. Oh, I thought he'd have his gun pointed at me, but I guess not. All right. Yeah, just had to inch just a little further just to get to him. And... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and go back. And I'm going to go in this direction. We'll, so, we'll see everything soon enough. Matter of fact, I don't think I'm much further away from anything that I'd already seen before. Matter of fact, where does that lead to? Well, we'll find out soon enough. For now, let's go ahead and... Purple gem. Worth 25. Well, that led to the exit. And this guy was apparently asleep or something. Well, he'll be sleeping forever now. And as much as I would like to return back home but on by home I mean the peacekeepers area not exactly going to do that yet is there anything else that I can fly to I doubt it be, yeah about this place be, be ready to glide to certain areas and we'll be able to get there eventually I believe and I am at the 20 minute limit but I think we can get to where we need to go we can we can do everything in a reasonable amount of time especially if I 
Okay. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. And you are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> yeah, if you say so. I didn't expect the <laughs> Spyro to just walk over there like it was nothing. And I believe if you glide over here. We can get over to here. And here. And I want to look around a little bit. Is this the... I believe this is the jump. So if I glide over here and stick to the left, there's that area I saw just a little while ago near the exit. Just across from the exit. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Plain broiled with a pinch of salt. I didn't even get to say the word tea and salt. And um, I would like to continue, please. Anyway, what is over there? Okay, that's the that's things and stuff. What does this lead to? Okay, more things, such as that gem. Good thing I actually noticed that. And I'm back to the start, but that's no problem. We can get back to where we need to be. Now, sadly, unlike the sequels, if you lose track of where everything is, you're going to have to look high and low to really find it. Because the gem radar was not introduced until the sequels. Yeah, definitely something you want to keep in mind. So you can't just hold all the shoulder buttons and have sparks point in a different direction. I think this was fixed in the Reignited Trilogy. But I'm not sure. I think this was fixed in the Reignited Trilogy. But back in PS1, you didn't have it in the first game at all. You had it right off the bat in the second game, and you had to earn it in the third. That you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known. Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it was available off the bat, I think, in all three games and reignited. So, anyway, we have this new area to go to. Um, I forgot how close I was to these guys. And this is the part I wanted to go to. I knew there was going to be an area that I forgot. And it looks like we're going to have 400 gems. So, yeah. It's a good thing that we looked around and did things. And if we can just sneak it up at these guys from the side, we don't have to worry about them attacking us at all. Which is actually pretty neat. Apparently, I have to grab that myself because apparently Sp Sparks doesn't want to do it. Okay. There's a s staircase here somewhere. I want to find it and use it. I think it's right here. There it is. Yeah, it's right here. I thought it was near the water there, but I was like, no, nah, that can't be right. And by looking around around here... We can find some places to jump from. And we're not jumping to that from here. We need to go higher. I believe we need to go higher. And that was a flag. I thought it was a vulture there for a second. Um, new thing here. Fireworks. Flame them. Then get out of the way so you don't get hit by the debris. Which apparently happened. Let's give ourselves some more room this time. And while we could go over to the exit, there's no reason to do that yet, especially with everything else that we have yet to find. And this is where we glide to here from. Make sure you 
get some altitude before you glide there. That way you can easily get everything here. Well, not just get easily get everything here, but also just land here in the first place. And we are getting close. We are getting very close. Where's that last three things? I'm going to look around around here. It's right there. Let's go ahead and get what's here. And we are done. 404. Okay. Which means that we can get back to the exit. And thankfully, it's we can get to the exit from here. All we have to do is just look around and we should be able to find it, I think. I think we should be able to find it. There it is. Yeah, we just go over here and then we can use the we can use the portal to go back home. Though we could just as easily pause and exit the level, but no, I might as well go ahead and use this since we can easily easily get to it. And there we are. We have the treasure goal complete amazingly. And I might as well just go ahead and beat these guys up. And yeah, they do fire the cannons at you, but you got to give them time and distance for them to do that. And I might as well just go ahead and beat up some more guys. Why not? And I might as well just go ahead and save here because I'm already near where I rescued a dragon. Let's go ahead and save our game. Awesome. We have completed the Peacekeeper's Homeworld. We have a beaten Toasty. And we have fully explored Dry Canyon. And now we, while we could go to the Magic Crafter's World, there still are some levels in the Peacekeeper's Homeworld that I want to play. And we'll play some more in the next video. So join me next time where we take on some more levels in the Peacekeeper's Homeworld. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe, and thanks for watching!